In this bar chart, I have total sales and total sales last week. Down here, I'm showing the percent difference week over week. First, we need to create a date table. Click on your table, and then select New Table. We're simply going to add columns to a calendar function. The calendar function takes in a start date and an end date. Add columns adds useful columns to the date table like year, month number, quarter, etc. In this example, important column is going to be week, year, which is a W, and then for formatting date as week, and adding the year to it. We also are going to need a week year sort. It's taking year times 100 plus the week number. And we have a date table. Once your date table is created, make sure you connect it to your sample data. My date table is here. Drag date over to order date to connect the two fields and select save. Let's start by bringing in the week year column and you'll notice that the weeks are not in order. Let's click on the week year field, sort by column, and we're gonna sort by week year sort. Now the weeks are in order. Let's create a total sales column by clicking on sample data, new measure, and total sales is simply sum of sales. Bring total sales into the view, and we have sales by week. Let's calculate last week by clicking on our table again, new measure, and this is a calculation. We're gonna use a variable for last week amount. We're gonna calculate the sum of sales, but filter the entire date table passing in week year sort and testing if it equals min of week year sort minus one. When I bring week into the view, you see last week. Let's calculate the percent difference by clicking on my table again, new measure. The measure is almost exactly the same. We're gonna take a variable called last week amount. It's the same as it was before, but this time we're going to return divide sum of sales minus last week amount, divide, it, divide by last week amount. When I bring that into the view, you see that I get the growth for the week, which is negative for the first week. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe for more.